it's, it's almost like I get to see a piece of the world um, through a different lens, um, through almost how the Savior looks or, you know, um, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's more of a good thing is, um, with everything. It's, you know, the tragedy isn't, isn't so tragic anymore. So I was working at the portrait studio at Walmart back in 2007 and the missionaries would come in to do their shopping and I had to acquisition and get so many people to get free portraits taken. So the missionaries obviously always signed up and so I met them that way and then a girl that worked there was LDS and my brother worked with a man that was LDS. So between all that, um, the missionaries started coming and Maria Austin gave me a phone call to say that my dad wanted to get baptized and my dad passed away when I was 12. So she called me and she was, her husband worked with my brother. So she called me and wanted to talk about uh, eternal families and my dad's getting baptized and so they started coming probably we met for four or five months with discussions and I was thinking about not going anymore and then I prayed about it and there's one verse or sentence that the Lord spoke to me when I was younger and I prayed that that would come up when the missionaries were over with Brother Clackering and Brother Clackering said it and I ended up getting baptized the following week. Um, I had a testimony, I understood um, how important the Savior was in my life and you know Joseph Smith being a prophet, I mean, I, I knew it all. Went on a mission, had a, had a great fruitful mission. Um, and so many experiences um, that have lasted my whole life. Um, teaching moments, um, experiencing things that most people don't at our age <clears throat> when we go on missions. So then after we got married, we became less active and it was probably COVID time that some things came up in the family that we decided, I guess we decided to start watching the church on TV because they broadcasted it on TV then. And then of course, you know, she had some questions and we pick up the scriptures and we start reading together and, you know, it, it, it took us about a year, but we just recently finished the Book of Mormon together as a couple. Um, <clears throat> but so, yeah, we started going to church and um, I was able to meet with the bishop and start the repentance process. You know, you know, I know that our Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Father lives, He loves us, He has a plan for us. I know that Jesus Christ is central to that plan. Um, I know that, <clears throat> you know, through Christ, He has established His church on the earth when He was on the earth, and He has done it again in our dispensation, in our time, with living prophets and apostles. I know that um, through the Savior, we can return to live with our Heavenly Father again. Um, I know that the Book of Mormon is another testament of Jesus Christ. It is true. And in companion with the Bible, we have the fullness of the gospel. In these days, that brings total joy and happiness. Um, you know, the simple fact that I can go from where I was at to now and not need anything, um, you know, with my job, I, I see it different now. Um, it's it's not it's not so much of a terrible thing anymore. It's it's um, it's it's almost like I get to see a piece of the world um, through a different lens, um, through almost how the Savior looks, or you know, um, <clears throat> it's 
it's it's more of a good thing is, um, with everything. It's you know the tragedy isn't isn't so tragic anymore. I know this is the true church that we have a prophet on the earth. I know that that we have temples here on earth so we can be eternal families.